Hey, what's going on? It's Jens. Today I want to give you an update about the, in my opinion, best flash diffuser for macro photography you can find on the market. A couple of weeks ago, I have made a video about the Pope Shield, which you can see right here. And yeah, it works great. I use it a lot. It does produce very nice soft diffuse light. But there's one thing which I really did not like about this diffuser setup at all and that is that I was not able to use my Raynox DCR250 anymore because this is needed to double my magnification otherwise I just can shoot with the magnification offered by my lens which is in this case a one-to-one -one magnification lens which is for me not enough. So when I was using this I was limited to a one-to-one -one magnification of course depending somehow on the sensor size which I combined with the lens but for me it was not really satisfying because normally I really like shooting a 2 or 3 to 1 magnification using the 90 millimeter of Sony just because this is the sharpest lens I own and together with the Rain of CCR250 it's just the perfect macro setup for me. So why am I making this video? The answer is because PopeShoot has built some upgrades for the adapter how to mount the diffuser to your lens to the whole setup right here and that is by using magnets and the great thing about this is that you can easily attach and deattach the diffuser to the lens and also put a Raynox DCR250 between the diffuser and the lens. So let's take a closer look on how this is built and how I actually attach everything together so that we can use this as a 3 to 1 magnification macro setup. So after screwing everything together, the Raynox is just held by those three magnets. Actually, this is a pretty good solution but the diameter of the magnets could be a little bigger because it does fit pretty well. But as you can see, when, when you pull, it might get loose. Or when you touch um, some branches or leaves with a diffuser, it could open up. And then the Raynox DCR250 might fall off and get damaged or dirty. So it is a pretty good solution but you have to handle it very carefully. Otherwise, you could damage your gear. I think the best solution here is just to replace the magnets which you can order at the homepage of Pope Shield. So let me just check the diameters. So the diameters which are used to connect and the magnets actually are really strong. So the diameter which you can order at this page is like six millimeter and the connection diameter is eight millimeter. So the best fix for this issue is probably to replace the cylinder magnets with a diameter of six by cylinder magnets with a diameter of eight millimeters so that everything is perfectly tight. I've just checked Amazon and the eight millimeter magnets cost about five euros. So I think I'm gonna replace them. And then I have finally found for me the perfect macro setup. So. I'm really interested what you think about the setup is this might be interesting for you especially with the magnet solution that you can also double the magnification by using tools like the Reynolds DCR250. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and hopefully see you on the next.